Hi everybody, we're getting ready to go out on the Chief for a day and a half trip at H&M Landing with Captain Chris Randall. And standing next to me is Anthony Hernandez. Anthony, have you fished with us before? No. First time? First time. And what made you come on this trip? I was looking for a trip and I noticed you were taking one out, so you know, I looked for the opportunity and I took it. Cool, well thanks for coming out. So the trip, the plan for tonight is get everybody on the boat, seven o'clock we're gonna leave here, and we have about 10 to 12 hours of traveling time. And hopefully tomorrow we'll be catching lots of yellowtails. Should be easy limits on the rock fishing. So it should be a good time. Sounds good. All right, man. Well, thanks for coming out with us. Today we're on the Chief, and we're on a day and a half trip fishing Colonet. And we're looking for rockfish and hopefully some yellowtail. I'm working a jig on the bottom. I think I got a nice rockfish on here. Here it comes right here. Big salmon grouper. Nice salmon grouper. They just feel bigger with their mouth open like that. And this is what we're going to be doing today, fishing jigs like this one, this magic metal. Bouncing them off the bottom, looking for those yellowtail, looking for quality rockfish. That's what we're going to do. So stay tuned for this week's exciting episode of Sport Fishing. I'm Dan Hernandez and I live to fish. That's a nice vermilion right there. Yeah! This is what fishing's like. I have been fishing along the Pacific Coast my entire life. Let me bring you in in the action and share with you some great fishing tips along the way. Hey gang, we're just starting our first drift. This is what I call a test drift. We don't know which way the boat's gonna go. We have a little bit of an east breeze, and I set up on a high spot. We're catching all kinds of big grouper. Just starting to pick away at a couple of yellowtail. We've only been fishing for about five minutes, and we're fishing with yo-yo irons for yellowtail. Color's not so much important. This is a 6X, and you got a nice big grouper, and it's a, it's a good warm-up fish. And uh, I think we're gonna be getting them pretty quick here. Yellowtail. <laughs> that would do it. Sushi. That would do it on the chief. Just step back. Just step back. You don't have to bounce them up. There you go. Now put in free spool. Free spool. Get up in the air. Oh. Oh, Good quality lingcod, colonnette. They get a lot bigger, but this is good quality. Good quality. What number are you, Jeff? Salmon Gupa. Ooh, nice rockfish. Big rockfish. down to the bottom. There you go. Salmon grouper. Do that over the boat. It doesn't fall off. You know salmon grouper? Oh, sea lion. Well, we're still drifting along here, yo-yoing. We got a handful of yellows on our first drift. 
We're having a little bit of a problem trying to get through these great big quality salmon grouper. They also like eating the yo-yo irons. The neat thing about where we're at, we're on a plateau about eight miles off the beach, and you can catch rockfish, lingcod, reds, grouper, and yellowtail all at the same time. And this is just, we're just getting started here. And I think when the conditions improve, we get a little bit more current, I think the yellows are gonna bite. I meter them really good, but it is a condition type thing where if you're drifting like we are now to the southwest, when it goes to the south or the southeast, the yellow bite will improve. So stay tuned, gotta go. That's definitely a yellowtail. If you look at the rod tip here, focus in, you'll see what we call the head thump. It'll, it'll do a thump, a thump, a thump. Watch those jigs. Oh, we got tangles. <laughs> All right, guys, step back. Step back for me. Right back here. Go straight back, straight back, straight back. Just wind in your slack. It's just nice and slow. I'm just going to keep tension on your fish. This is the downside of fishing with a bunch of jigs. You get a few tangles. And what I'm doing right now is just hand lining his fish in gently so that it keeps a tight pull on the fish and it can't spit the hook while we work on the tangles. One more, one more, whoa! Cut, 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 cut! Cut, cut, cut! cut. All right, you're free. Now we're gonna go to our next tangles. <laughs> Follow your lines, guys. Uh, that might be in that too. Yep. 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 All right. All so right. we're going to bring it up here. This is Doug. He caught this yellow fishing a jig. And Chris, why don't you explain a little bit what we're doing right now? Yeah, we're fishing off a colonnette in a high spot, the plateau, 30 to 40 fathoms. And it's a mixed area of all types of rockfish, including yellowtail. There's a lot of yellowtail in the meter right now. It's not biting real good, but this is, once again, it's conditions. Rockfish will bite in almost any condition of current. Yellowtail favors specific currents, and it could be a time of day thing. Yeah. That's why we're here all day. That's right. It's the right. beauty of a day and a half. Good job. Nice job. What's okay. your number? 12. Number 12. Okay, we're going to take a little break from the action aboard the Chief and go to the tackle box to give you a good look at the gear we're using for today's trip. Today in the Tackle Box, I want to talk to you a little bit about what we're doing today aboard the Chief. We're down in Colonet, and normally when you think about Colonet, you think you're just going to be fishing the bottom for rockfish. And traditionally, that's what a trip to Colonet is. It's a bottom fishing trip. But the way the weather's been the last few years with El Nino starting to pop up, no one's calling it a full El Nino, but you know, we're catching yellowtail in January off the Baja coast and in San Diego. So to me, it's pretty much feeling like El Nino. Now we're down in Colonet. Normally when you think Colonet, you're thinking you're just fishing for rockfish, trying to get link cod, rock cod, red snapper, stuff like that. But on this particular day, there's lots of yellowtail. So you have to be geared up to fish for both. And what's really cool is that they're both in the same area. What I mean is the yellowtail aren't right up on the surface under cow patties. They're down deep. They're close to the structure. So we're fishing down over 100 feet, trying to get the rockfish. But if you just come up five, 10 cranks, the yellowtail right there too. So the gear you need is good, heavy gear. The same gear you would use for big rockfish and the same gear you use for nice yellowtail fish in the 20, 30, even 35, 40 pound range. And something like this. This is gonna be the outfit I'll be using most of the day. Something like this, a larger reel that you can put on, say 80 pound or 100 pound spectra. And then on top of that, 40 to 50 pound monofilament. And that's what I have here. Nice sturdy rod, so when you hook a big fish, if it's a 20 pound lean cod or 30 pound lean cod or a 30 pound yellowtail, you have enough backbone on the rod that you can bring that fish off the rocks and fight it successfully and bring it to the boat. Outfit like this will do that. Those yellows know where the rocks are, they know where the structure are, where the coral is. They have no problem diving their head down and trying to get away from you, cutting your line off. So you need a rod with big enough drag, heavy enough line, and a rod with enough backbone so you can pull those fish up and get them coming toward the boat. Now as far as the terminal tackle, we're catching fish both ways, using artificials, the iron jigs, and using live bait. If you're going to be fishing artificials, a metal jig like this, you want a thin profile jig like this, like this Magic Metal. It's thin profile, so it tells you it's supposed to be fished really quick. 
Now, if you just want to fish for link cod, you're just going to bounce this off the bottom, only move it like four or five cranks off the bottom, and those link cod will come up and bite it. The rockfish will be really close to the rocks too. If you're going to fish for the yellowtail, you got to start about five cranks off the bottom and then wind up 10 to 20 cranks. You want to make that jig dart up about halfway up and those yellowtail will come up and chase it. These are deadly jigs to use for yellowtail in deep water. They work really, really good. I would probably start off about a 10 ounce jig, eight ounce jig if you're gonna just stay strictly on the bottom. But if you're gonna fish for the yellowtail, maybe a, a eight ounce jig at the most to start off with. And then if you get tired and you, know, you need a little bit lighter jig, then go to four and a half. Wouldn't go lighter than a four and a half ounce magic metal jig like this and it'll work out really good. Another nice thing about these jigs, they have the welded rings. So if you do hook a 40 pound yellowtail, you don't have to worry about a split ring opening up. These welded rings will stay nice and shut for you. As far as live bait, you want to go something like this, a Mustad 94151. Great hook, nice heavy hook. And this is what you want to be using. Nothing smaller than a 4 or 5 -oh hook. And you pin this on to a live sardine dropper loop rig, get it right there along the bottom. Again, if you leave it right on the bottom along the rocks, you're going to get link cod, nice red snapper, good quality rockfish here at Colonet. If you come up off the bottom, about five cranks, you have a shot at the yellowtail. And having a good quality hook like this will make all the difference in the world. You want a good solid hook, nothing really thin wire because they're going to open up. Nothing that's chemically treated that might be really brittle and break. But something like this, a nice quality mustad hook will work out good on these bigger yellowtail, big rockfish. This is all the basic gear you need. You have a successful time fishing down here at Colonet. Well, let's get back on the water and show you more exciting action right here on Sport Fishing. I think fought hard. That's a big leg. Wow. What's that? Yeah. Let me do that. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, you're Anthony. I thought you were Louis. Anthony from Chino. Anthony nice from Chino. Good work, dude. All right. Fought hard. Beautiful. Okay, Anthony. 
I ain't really gone for two so far. Good. I got two yellows and a salmon grouper and a vermilion red. It's only 12 o'clock. You got about seven more hours of fishing to go. It looks like we're going to catch a lot more. Yeah. So you having fun today? Oh, yeah. Those yellows pulling hard. You believe this weather, January? It's great weather. Calm waters. It's great. Beautiful day. T-shirt and short weather today. Oh, yeah, for sure. All right, man. Well, good luck. See you. Get some more All right, fish. Thank you. All right. Thanks. Someone's lying over here. Spectra's wrapped on me. I'm hooked up. Get right in the corner with him here, right in the corner. Right in the corner. There we go. Can you guys give me both on you? Hey guys, we're gonna be coming up the rail here. Slip your rod and step back for us. Watch that big camera foot. Keep going, keep going. Coming up guys, coming up, we gotta move, we gotta go fast. Size bottom
comes. Link card. Keep it down for a second. Oh no, no. The big salmon grouper. Dude. Oh, red. Big, Whoa. Red. Big, red. Whoa. big group. That's a red. red. A red? Big yeah, red. A red. Wow. That's big red. Nice red. Good job. Good. Another quality vermilion rockfish. On the drop root. Yeah. Live bait. One, what number? 33. Fresh one! Just dropped another bait down there to the bottom. I got bit. Feels like the yellow. No, it was about five cranks up. All right, Let's see what this one is. It's acting like a yellow. Haven't had much luck. I've lost three or four already. And uh, every possible situation, I got side off twice. Had my dropper loop the line break in half. Just everything's happened to me today. Let's see what happens with this one. Definitely a yellow. Definitely a yellow. Get in my tuna mode. Let's see if we can get them to come up. Chris got another one. Not yet. I know. <laughs> there's a, there's color right there. Someone's fish. There's deep fish. color on mine. Let's get the fish. Deep color on mine. Here comes my fish. Yeah, finally. Fourth time. I thought the third, third time was the charm. Not for me. <laughs> finally got a nice yellow yeah. tail. Chris and I have been fishing together for about 20 years. Oh, yeah. Three or four different boats, and we're out yeah. today in our day and a half trip. Well, on behalf of Chris Randall, the whole crew, the chief, and myself, I'm Dan Hernandez, hoping you enjoyed this week's episode of Sport Fishing. And join us next week for part two of our day and a half adventure yeah. here aboard the chief. All right, thanks, guys. All right, we got to get out of the way. We've got more right. fish going here. Hey, Anthony, how'd you like today? Oh, it was great. Limits of yellowtail, can't beat that. And what, what did you end up with? I saw you pull in a bunch of yellows today. Yeah, I got uh, 10 yellows and lean cod and vermilions, salmon grouper, everything. It was Man, a great day. You you hooked 10 yellows today? Yeah, 10. Well, I hooked 12. I lost two. Yeah, I lost five. Yeah, they're they're pretty tough. Yeah, uh, and then the rock fishing was pretty phenomenal too. Oh yeah, every time you go to the bottom, you get hit. Yeah. So how'd you enjoy being out with this? Oh, I'll do it again. I like it. Yeah, a lot of fun. A lot of fun. All right, well, we'll be back on this boat for two more tuna trips this year, but all, right. all together we have about 20 trips this year. All right, sounds good. I'll see you on some of them. All right, man. Thanks a lot for joining us. Talk to you soon.